If you're ready to conduct keyword research on your own, try out this eight-step plan developed by Hoth experts like me at the Hoth. Step one, brainstorm your keywords. Try to think of what keywords people might use to find your business and ask yourself these questions to generate ideas. What phrases would you type in if you were looking for your products? What categories do your products or services fit into? What problems do your products or services solve? What type of people do your products or services serve? What questions do your customers ask before they buy? Another way to get ideas is by typing your keywords into Google to see what appears in the suggested searches. Step two, study your competitors. An easy way to find keywords is to look at your search competitors' websites. Keep in mind that your search competitors are different from your normal competitors. These are similar businesses who are ranking higher than you online. They may be in a different state or country. You can find these sites by just typing in your main keyword to Google and visiting the URLs of the top ranking positions. Title tags are usually a good clue of strong keywords. We also suggest using a tool like our SEO rankings checker to see what competitors are ranking for. Step three, use keyword research tools. A keyword research tool will give you many relevant choices. The Hoth Keyword Research Tool is free to use. All you have to do is type in a keyword phrase and click the View Keyword Research button. The results will include related keywords, a range for estimated traffic, and what the people are paying on Google Ads for those keywords. Of course, if you want to get serious with your keyword research, you should invest in sophisticated tools like Ahrefs, Keyword Explorer, Moz, or SEMrush. Step four, consider search intent. Do you know what content Google likes to rank? This is important before you create anything new. You might be surprised at what Google prefers. For instance, you may notice that Google prefers ranking long form how-to guides, tools, or lists. Any content you do create needs to be similar to the style of content that is already ranking for a given keyword. This ensures your content matches the search intent and should rank well as a result. Step five, consider trends and seasonality. We haven't even mentioned trends yet, but everyone knows certain products or services are more popular at different times of the year. When optimizing for SEO traffic, you also need to consider seasonality and trends. Google Trend is a tool that you can use to view a keyword's popularity over time. It's common for some keywords or topics to trend up or down over time. For example, salsa dancing seemed popular in 2004, but appears to be declining in popularity. Seasonal fluctuations like holidays also affect what is popular. For example, Easter chocolate sees a spike in search interest every March. You should consider trends and seasonality when crafting your SEO strategy. Step six, select your target keywords. At this point, you'll select a primary keyword phrase to target. It will be high volume and most relevant to your web page. This primary keyword is used for creating and optimizing your content. You can also create a list of long tail keywords that relate to your primary keyword, which you can add to your page content. Although these keywords won't drive a lot of traffic individually, the cumulative traffic that they send to your site can add up quickly. Step seven, create your content and optimize it for SEO. Once you know what keywords you'll be using, you can create your content. Add these keywords to your web pages and blogs. You'll also want to do link building to boost your SEO. Remember, it may take several months or longer before you rank for the keywords that you are targeting, especially if they are competitive. Step eight, measure your results. Here's the most important step in the process. Regularly check your web analytics to see how everything is performing. You can use tools like Google Analytics, Google Search Console to analyze results and improve them. Here are two key metrics to pay attention to first, which keywords are driving traffic to your site, and second, which keywords driving sales or conversions. Use this data to make decisions on what keywords to keep using, which ones to remove, and what kind of keywords to target next. Don't forget to check out more on the Hoth Learning Hub to learn about local SEO and content marketing. If you have any questions about how to effectively conduct keyword research for your business, book a free strategy session with us by clicking the link below.